HR, finance, our administrative staff who's doing the payment requests or the uh, procurement, our uh, budget managers, our project managers, our work order managers, um, everybody is in Unit 4 right now, including our country staff. One of our goals in uh, in going with Unit 4 was to reduce or break down these silos. So we achieved that right through the implementation process where we were bringing cross-functional teams, they were designing the system and you know having integrated system, I mean, I'll give you an example, the fact that we can figure out which positions in HR are budgeted, the fact that we can figure out which budgeted positions have not been recruited for our vacant or are getting recruited, all of those things help us uh, really leverage the integration in the system and also, uh, you know, reduction in time. I mean, all the time we spend taking um, batch processes from one module and loading into another module. We don't have to do that anymore. It was a um, collaborative approach with everybody involved in the uh, implementation. We did uh, workshops for each um, function pretty much and brought all the stakeholders for that function to work together to build processes. Now, in terms of thinking about how we were implemented, our approach was very much, um, you know, we are designing processes and technology is the enabler. And we were going with that approach mainly because we were trying to help people understand that they have to design their processes using the system and not design the system uh, and try to solutionize the system without figuring out what is the business outcome they would like to have from the system. We do what any other nonprofit is doing uh, in terms of HR, finance, um, and fund management. And so why do we need to customize? Um, and why can't we use the best practices that the system is bringing and helping us with? I mean, Unit 4 already brought something called the Non-For-Profit Accelerator, a template of configurations that they already had in place um, so we already, you know, you know, jump started our implementation with that accelerator in place. And then not to forget the upgrade path, right? I mean, customization can take us into a direction that is not the roadmap of the technology or the unit four. So, um, not going in that direction, keeping it simple, using tools that are easily configurable by anyone, uh, makes our lives easy and makes our customers lives easy. We brought it on time and on budget that we had planned for that year. One of the things that we did right up front was to have, as I mentioned, clear business outcomes that we were looking for, right? Efficiency, breaking silos, uh, you know, more transparency, more data access, and keeping team focused on those outcomes really helped us 